Hey, Floss Tube. Hey. I'm Christy. I'm Callie. And we're the Floss Bossing Cousins. We are. And this is Floss Tube number 23. No. I think. Don't ask me. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We think. And it is Sunday, February the 25th. Hmm. Fifth. Fifth. Um. We've had a rough couple of weeks. We have. Elbert's so. been running Caretaking. from here to there and caretaking and, you know, starting a new job and mama goes into the ER and we had, mm, had surgery and just all kinds of fun things <laughs> going on this week. I am wore out. Uh, and she's manager on duty this weekend, so she yeah. worked half a day yesterday and today. Mm -hmm. So, it, if she nods off during the floss tube, just overlook her. Yeah. We'll just carry on. I'm telling you, I was so tired with the. I don't know if it was night before last. I thought, I don't know that I even turned over in the bed, and that is rare for me because I mean, I listen. My my bed looks like a war's been fought in it when I get up in the morning. I don't even know if I turned yeah. over, but. She is finally better. Um, she had a lot of confusion. Started on Saturday. They thought that she had a UTI. And um, so Sunday, I went by there. I went by Saturday and Sunday. But s Sunday, they called and said she wasn't much better. So I went over there. And uh, her results from her UTI, or UNA, hadn't come back, and it was negative. And I said, what? I said, something ain't right here. She is way off baseline. So I asked them to call her doctor and get some lab work drawn. And it came back, and her potassium and creatinine, and I don't know if it's BNU or BUN numbers, were through the roof. And um, she couldn't string together a coherent sentence. just was way off, but... Um, so they sent her over to the ER. The nursing home my mom's in is connected to the hospital, so that's a good thing. And they sent her over to the ER. We went over there and spent all afternoon. And, um, there's no telling what's hanging out. Hanging out. I'm, I remind me to tell you something after we got here. <laughs> off here. But anyway, um, so they checked all that stuff. And initially, now, the ER doctor, I was a little bit mad at him. Mm. because when I first got to the ER with her, he comes back after just checking her kidney function and and tells me that she has, you know, maybe 24 hours to live. Um, and I'm like, what? So anyway, he goes on to explain that her kidneys are not functioning, um, this, that, and the other, and I said, well, you know, what about hospice or palliative care? And he said, I really don't think she's going to make it that long, and I, I mean, I'm just stunned. I'm floored at this point. I'm planning a funeral and all this, and so anyway, he goes on to get a, an, they did a CT of her head, and then also did one of her stomach, and that's when they found that she had two huge kidney stones, one blocking each of her kidneys, which was, you know, praise God, best, best case scenario, Sure then, beats that other diagnosis. I mean, you know, find out a little information before you go to telling somebody that. But so I had me a ball fest, you know. And anyway, um, so they flew her to <clears throat> Tuscaloosa Hospital, the big hospital, and um, the next day she was still well. The next morning at eight o'clock, she had surgery. So um, she was a sick little lady. No oh, flopsy's coming. And, um, I, you know, later on in the week, I got to kidding with her because she said, I said, did you know you flew down here in a helicopter? Because she had surgery a couple years ago. She had fallen and had um, two subdural hematomas, and they had to fly her down then, too. I said, you can't just go to the hospital in a, you know, a normal fashion. You've got to really roll out all the stops. And she got tickled. She said, well, how am I going to get home? They're going to fly me back. I said, no, you'll not be flown back. So. <laughs> But she was in good spirits today, and she's finally gotten some appetite back and had eaten. They had collard greens for lunch, so she was she was happy about that. 
I and like they, turnip greens, but I don't, I don't care for collards. She loves any kind of greens, and and she was eating the cup of ice when I got back, or when I got there today after work. So she she's on the mend, buddy. She loves her ice like I do. So glad to see she's feeling better. It's I'm been so a, glad. Been a rough week. But we on the mend now. Good deal. What you been doing? I just been working and stitching and you know that's about it. I mean, you know, I lead a really exciting life. <laughs> Let me tell you, you say that and then you might want a little action, but you don't want no action. I tell you. Mm -mm. I, well, yesterday I got my hair cut and colored, and me and Tracy were talking. We graduated school together. And we were talking about one of our other friends and honey, his Snapchat every day is he is going somewhere. He is doing something. I said, how does he have the energy to do it? Because when I get off work, the old mule is headed to the barn. Yes. I do not want to stop anywhere. It makes me mad if I have to stop at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. If I have to stop to get gas, I just want to go home. And like last night, Alan said, well, we really need to run to Walmart and pick up a few things and we'll get something to eat while we're over there. And I was thinking, I've already been over there one time. I had to get my hair done. And now you're going to you tell me that I got to go back. I just want to go home. I'm just, I like home and I am a creature of habit. I like to be at home on the weekends in my gown, stitching. Every night this week, at, you know, at the... Uh, because I got off at five and I went to go by the hospital and visit with mama for a while. And every night this week, it's been seven thirty, eight o'clock before I even got mm. home. And I'm just like, <clears throat> somebody shoot me now. That'll so, put a kink in your chain, won't it? Put a little eel in your pocket, too. Jeremy said, you just, you need to go to bed or something. But I thought, no, listen, I'll kill you. <laughs> I, I'm about this close to it. Just tip it right <laughs> over the edge. <laughs> so... I know, I know, I know, I know. But he ain't bothered me much this week. He knows just to let me be. He's learned. Cause and I'll, you'll settle down. You'll yeah, smooth I'll, back I'll out. I'll snap on you if you ain't real careful. But yeah. he's been good. He 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 always helps with with Mama. Um, his mother's not living, so he uh, he really helps me with my mama. I don't know what I'd do without him. I yeah. tell you. I, I was trying to think if I had if I have really done anything. Since the last floss tube. Well, Whitley, our middle granddaughter, she had a birthday last Monday. And her birthday party was last Sunday. So, we done that. And Friday night, uh, me and Alan met Holly Ho and her husband Todd and Jasper. And ate supper for my birthday at the pie factory. And Was it good? Mm -hmm, it was really good. <clears throat> I've been wanting some pizza. Really good. I got a calzone, the chicken bacon ranch calzone. Oh, we had our we had our visit with our friends too. We Big did. House. We that, did. That seems like an eternity ago. It does, it? and it was just <clears throat> a week ago Thursday. Mm -hmm. We had two um, ladies reach out to us, Linda and Lee, and they're from Kentucky, and they were going to be driving down um, to see Linda's granddaughter in a cheer competition in Biloxi and we met them over at Big Al's this little restaurant that's by my house because it's where Callie comes home from and where I come home from from work and had dinner with them um Thursday before last and it was wonderful we had a good time had a great time it was so nice to meet them and spend some time with them. So we had, we had talked about you know you don't ever know what to expect when you meet people and you don't know if conversation's gonna be forced or or what. But we it was not. It, it's it was like we'd known them all our yes. life and um, had such a good visit with them and um, they brought us a a gift. Yep. And bought her supper. I mean, they, they did. They, they did. rolled out the red carpet. And I, I hate after I left, I was on my way home. And I thought, you didn't even get a picture. I know. I called Christy the next morning. I said, you know, we didn't even get a picture. She said, I thought about that last night. And yeah. I thought, what, what is the matter with us? I don't know. But 
that <clears throat> that that was a very very nice visit and we've already made plans that on our way up to StitchCon we're gonna stop by and see them mm -hmm. so we'll get to see them again in June right but it was wonderful I wish StitchCon was tomorrow or something was tomorrow. Or today. Yeah, let's just haul, let's, let's just go. Get, get at it. <clears throat> uh, or you can start if you want to. Lord, where do you want to start? Hmm. I um. Let let me show you my book. So, I worked on this mug. Said I was gonna do better, and I did. I have got my book filled out and I use this uh some one of our viewers sent it to me. Well it sent it to us and I stole it so <laughs> I don't know where the front is. Well it's gotta be close. Yeah. We're only in February. It's the Cross Stitchers planner. Who's it by? Lori Sykes from My Crazy Life. Okay. So I have put in my starts where I started with my two goals for this month. So my pulls were Feast of Friendship and then to FFO my Annie B's, or to finish them in FFO my Annie B's um, red work pairs. So, and then I just put some stickers in there, but I did pretty good. I had my, my Feast of Friendship was on there for a finish. And I ain't gonna make that go like a tea, but I did work on it and I got a lot of progress. I, I stitched one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, not ten days on um, Feast to Friendship. So. And your goal was to finish. My it? goal was to finish it. You know. Well, you still got a few days. Well, I ain't gonna get all that done. But you know, I had her, I had her wheel run off last week. So, but I've made good progress because I didn't have, well. I had the top of the, the vase or the bowl outlined and the top of the fruit and stuff, most of it done. So I brought down my border, I put that box in at the bottom, did that big pumpkin and then some of that vine and started on that, on that ginormous house. So, um, this, the house is not taking as long, like you said. No, it, I, I mean, you think, holy Hannah. <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah. I don't know what, but anyway. It, it has, it's, I've gotten more progress from than I thought, you know, and when I was at the hospital, you thought I would have took this up there, and I did take it, but I didn't stitch on it much, because I can't half see, you know, but this is the call for, um, threads for it, that's a mix of, no, I think most of it's gel arts, but it's so pretty, and then, where is my chart, so that's Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. And I, I'm pretty proud of the progress I got. Did even you though. see where she's coming out with two new ones? Mm -hmm. I'm going to call Marlene tomorrow. <laughs> sure am. Yeah. So that was that one. That was my first heifer pull. And then my next one was um, Red Work Pairs by Annie B's Folk Art. And it was to finish stitching. I had one more to stitch and then to FFO them. And I did. So here's, you want to hold that one? There's three of them, and they're not perfect, and I don't give a rip, because I thought they turned out pretty cute. They're gorgeous. I did a little, um, the instructions had, you know, cut out the leaves and make a stem and all that, and I tell you, that herringbone stitch right there, if you've never done that, that's pretty fun, once I figured out how I got, you know, to do it. Um, my bottoms are probably not perfect, but hey, they're perfect for me. They're so pretty. I did two of them back in this fabric. And then this one, now this, look at this butt on this one. It's, mm -hmm. this, it's got a big booty. But big and, booty, Judy. Yeah. I bet I did that back in fabric on the other ones, but I'm pretty proud of them pairs. They're so pretty. One of them, was it this one? Turn that around. One of them got a little close on the edge because, you know, I had stitched it too close to the other thing and I wasn't, wasn't about to tear uh, all that out, but. They're yours? I ain't nobody gonna know it unless I tell them, so. But I thought they turned Good out Good job, cute. Ebert. I tell you, I just put the FFO one. I mean. So that was my two heifer pulls for February. Then, what else? Oh, I started something. 
I started. I try to start something every day with somebody or you know. For real. So this is. Oh, I love that fabric. It's called gunmetal. I thought it was oh, so pretty. Oh, I cool. love that. This is, I had this kitted up, and I told Christy, uh, you know, I should have been working on that face to friendship some more, but I just had an itch to start something. So this is a stitch in time by With Thy Needle and Thread. It's a needle and scissor. Needle and a scissor key, but this is the chart. So pretty. And somebody, was it Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher I was watching on Floss Tube? She had, no, it wasn't. It was that new new lady, Tara Sullivan. Yeah. She had a, the um, this round one in her little cubby that she showed. But I, so I started it. And let me tell you, this is on 35 count gunmetal by Weeks Dye Works. And when I tell you that is a tight weave right there. I done had to break out the magnifier and all, and, and I can't half see it, but that's my progress on that. That was two or three days worth of stitch, and I think that's going to be pretty. So then, you know, one start simply wasn't enough for me. I saw this come out, and I reckon I'm on a Brenda Gervais kick right I mean, now. I mean, honey. I, listen, I'm just doing it. But this is the new Hello Spring, um, and I ordered it from Fat Quarter Shop the other day and i think i have boogered up some but anyway so in the instructions she tells you to coffee dye huh. two of your flosses and one of them was sockeye and the other one was robin's egg and, and when i got the robin's egg it was real bright and i thought well it does need toning down a little bit so i coffee dyed them and this is the blue i got but that just dang near looks green to me. Yeah, it does look green. But see, I don't know. I'm going right on with it because, you know, who's to question Brenda Gervais? I mean, you know? yeah, not me. But so I started it and I got a good bit done on this. And this is 40 count. I can't half see it either. So I pick out oh more, than, Lord. more than I put in. What are you in. thinking? And then this color is that tiny vine. But I, to me, that you just can't hardly see that. Did you find tiny vine? No, I ordered a skein last night. This I was trying to use it frosted sage, mm -hmm. and it blends too much into the fabric, so yeah. I'm gonna have to pull that out. But that was two starts. Oh, and then I had a start and a finish since our last floss too. I just been I've had startitis, I reckon. But this is Little House Needleworks, home of a needleworker, and I posted this on Instagram. And I changed up the colors in it. Um, I used, well, let me just get my little box here and tell you what I used. Some DMC or something. I told Christy I was going to start using these cards that I get in trouble about. I got to do some pictures, put some pictures on mine. So I, I that's our project cards. And I use um, DMC Ecru, uh, DMC 730. I did use Classic Color Works Campfire for the red. Um, I use Weeks Dye Works Flatfish and then DMC 3799 <clears throat> on that. And I started it on the 8th of February and finished it on the 14th. So it was a quick, quick well finish. Oh, I thought that was cute. Went that real fast. Pretty. So, I was pretty proud of that. I think that was a mistake in there somewhere, but I didn't pull it out. Over here on this border or something. That was one stitch off right there. So, anyway. Did you know you're missing part of the alphabet? Mm-hmm. Don't be, don't be getting smarmy. <laughs> I told Christy I, I needed something to put my project cards in and I was at Ollie's the other day. I don't know if y'all have an Ollie's, but anyway, it's like a closeout store. And this was a a little tin box. I thought it was cute that it fits so the bigger cute. size cards. And um it came with some extra ones, this, that, and other, but I put my cards in there and I had I have really used it. I cut one of the project cards, you know, trimmed it up here so it fit on the front and stuck it on there with some double-sided tape. But I thought that just turned out cute as It's pie. really cute. So The colors match it good, too. Yeah. I was shocked. So, that's that. That's all I've stitched on.
I stitched on Carrie Tiger Lily Designs birthday sale, which is Ann Richardson, aged nine years, and I finished her. I started her on Carrie's birthday on December the 31st, and I finished her on February the 21st. And she stitched on 32 count Little Bunny by XJU Designs. And I'm using all the called for Vicky Clayton silks. That's good. <clears throat> I just could not put her down. I just could not put her down. Did you let Flopsy chew the bottom of that fabric in two? Nah, I just cut it, you know. <laughs> Can you tell? A little bit. Nah. Looks good. But though. I'm glad that she's finished and I can't wait to let Alan frame her. Mm, mm, mm. You just been on it, cranking out some big ones. Okay. And this is a chart, and it is by my sister's samplers. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. I, I need to take a picture of it so I can. I got to do that this evening. Put so it I'll on put my card book. and get it put up. And the other thing that I have stitched on is another. It was one of my heifer pulls. For February, the I, I pulled uh, "Be Steel" by a new created a new creation design company, and I showed it in our last video. And I fixed that little one that I missed a spot on. I fixed it, but I had already finished it. And my other hair for pull is Isabella Keen by my sister Samplers. If you don't. If you haven't seen their charts, it's Rebecca and Beth, and Beth has a floss tube stitching in my pajamas, and I love, I love stitching these. Love them, love them, but let me find, I did not, well, I can take it out. It's not going to matter. I haven't cut my fabric yet because I did I don't know if I can take it out or not. You got her in there tight. I do. I'm mm -hmm. just going to have to show y'all because I don't have a screwdriver over here. But I've done this right here is one page. So I've done one page and started on another. How many pages is it? 18. Oh. It's a big girl then. Yeah. So that's why I haven't cut my fabric because I'm scared. And I did not, I thought I had ordered all of the Vicki Clayton silks, and I didn't. I only had some, so I just pulled DMC, and I'm stitching it with the, with the call for DMCs. And it is on 32 count cream and sugar fiber on whim. But, I mean, you think that is a lot, but their charts are big print, yeah. and they're easy to read. So, um... It's really not a lot, but that that right there Which is is one. is one page. So that's all I've stitched on this month. Is what I was supposed to, I guess. I thought well, since I finished up, I thought since I finished up Be Steel, I would finish up Carrie's birthday sale because mine starts Tuesday, mm -hmm. and I can't wait. After I pick my fabric, of course. Yeah, I gotta have a consultation about that. Yeah. So I brought my yeah, what I thought I might so, do. So, <clears throat> um, you want to do our giveaways from last time real quick? Sure. Well, I think they're upside down, and I will insert a picture of who I drew. The first one is Big Hearted Tiny Town. By heart and hand and it goes to at becca hunt 85 at b-e-c-c-a h-u-n-t 85 congratulations mm -hmm. the next one is the quilt I think it's this one. Maybe they're just all screwed up. Stitches from the heart quilt chart. 
and it goes to at Oki underscore stitches. I okay. her post stuff all the time. I E underscore S T I T C H E S. Congratulations. The next one is two by two. Are we missing one? Mm -mm. Okay. Like this is it. Two by Julia. Two by Julia. I'm sorry. And it goes to at Sassy Loves to Step. At Sassy Loves to Sew. Dot Nancy Story. Congratulations. Those are pretty. The next one is the Cotton Hobby Jobby Kit. And it goes to at Sheila Smith 3977. Congratulations. And the last one is Mimosa Wreath by Hobby Jobby. It's a kit and it goes to at Lisa Hardesty 7029. Congratulations. Mm. To all of our winners. And if you will email me and I'll put the email address here at flossbossing Floss, Floss and Cousins at gmail.com. I will get those out to you. I'm going to be out of town Thursday through Sunday. But um, if you email me before then, I'll get them in the mail to you. Okay. What you want to do now? You tell me. Take a nail? <clears throat> well, yeah. That'd be great. You want to do right. haul or... Have, have you or watched gotta, any floss tubes? Yes. And I said I was going to sit down and make a list and I did not get it done. But I, I can remember some of them. So I caught up with Chris Cross Stitch. Um, and then I have watched Carol the Saltbox Stitcher. I've watched, I think, two of Shelley's. Antique Needle Workers. I watched some new ones. I watched Tara Sullivan. I like her. I do too. Um, who was I watching coming over here? Oh, Daisy K Primitives. I'm about halfway through hers. Um, I, I I feel like I've watched a lot, but I'm not caught up. Yeah, I'm not either. <clears throat> I need to put me a piece of paper in here or something, or make me some sheets in the back that I can uh, write them down, because I've been trying to look through and find some people that I haven't been watching yes. before. Um, cause typically when I get on YouTube, I'll just go to subscriptions and watch what's there, but I, you know, I'm not finding any new people that way. So, um, I'm going to do better about that. Well, we had some mentions, um, Paula, the 502 Stitcher mentioned us, Chris, the Camping Stitcher, Alicia, Fanciful Flamingo, she mentioned us. Annie, the proper stitcher, mentioned us. Katie and her mom, so tattered. Katie, I absolutely loved that floss tube. Your mom is so precious. Um, and Cindy, the scrappy chick, mentioned us. Red Cross stitcher. Shane Brooke Cottage. Hoopy Hobby, crisscross stitch, which he was making fun. He was making fun of how probably specifically I talk. But it's okay, Chris. I still love you. I know where you used to live, so you've got it in you deep down. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wouldn't take it, but just a minute That's to get right. him back in the fold. That's it? right. Give him a biscuit and some syrup. 
he'd be right back, mm -hmm. drawing, drawing with the best of us. <laughs> And the Sassy Southern Stitcher. So thank you I for all of y'all that mentioned us. We, we appreciate it so much. She over here taking notes. I am because, you know, uh -oh. got to do better about that. Mm. And I watched uh, Miss Carol, Saltbox Stitcher, and... Holly, Mrs. Jones Stitches, and Krista, the Wildflower Stitcher. It was her first video. And I watched Liz and Dave, Country Stitchers, and Stephanie, the New England Stitcher, and dear sweet Holly Neal. Just let me stop right here. If y'all are praying people, I ask that whether you're a, a prayer, I, I ask anybody that prays to please pray for Holly Neal. Her grandson, Graham, they all went to Disney World. Um, and she was supposed to go to Beach Please Retreat. And Graham got sick on the last day and had to be flown to Children's Hospital in Atlanta. Mm. And he's not doing very well so y'all please please pray for baby graham and for for holly and her husband for just pray for them all um he's a sick little boy it works i tell you um thank y'all so much too for praying for mama and every day i couldn't respond to everybody um but i, I read all the comments where y'all prayed for my mama and was sending good good thoughts and well wishes. So prayer works, people. Yes. And um it's important. Honey, so. I've I've even prayed for the people that, that clean at the hospital for anybody that comes in contact with that baby or his family. Mm -hmm. I, I mean it does work. But Holly did her first video. Her first floss tube video, and she has some beautiful things. She did. So, y'all go, be sure you go over and check her out, and it's Hobbies of Holly. I watched Missy's tutorial on the, I meant to bring you some of them, and I forgot them. I'll meet you at the store, but um, Missy's tutorial on Holly's little floss tags yes. for weeks. Um, I ordered some of those and got them in and putting them on my stuff. Yeah. And I got you some. And I watched Chris the Camping Stitcher. And Alicia, the fanciful flamingo, and honey, I watched Chantel's 141 Her Bag Parade. Y'all all know I'm a bag hoe. And I'm telling you, that's the best video I've ever seen. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Oh, I watched So Tattered, Scrappy Chick. The Spanish Stitcher, the 502 Stitcher, I mean, I have, and I know I've watched some other ones, but that, those are the ones that I managed to get written down, but, and I'm still behind. Oh, I watched Missy and Kathy, too, mm -hmm. and I started watching uh, Jane and, G I'm sorry, G.I. Jane and Julie. Yeah. They have a new video up. out. I think it came out yesterday or last night, and I started watching it this morning, but I didn't get finished with it. But um, she is not Jane and Julie anymore. It is G.I. Jane. She is a precious, precious soul. I told her the other day, she said, my hair's just falling out, falling out. I said, honey, do you want me to shave mine? I said, Cause, do you know how happy it would make me to get up in the mornings and sock a wig on this head and go... Listen, my, I don't know what's going on my hair. It, it's just too soft. Like, and two, the wind's been blowing nonstop, you know. And it's a pretty far trek from the car to in the hospital now since yeah. they tore down that parking deck. Oh, I didn't know they tore down the parking oh, deck. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I did not know that. I mean, you got all, it, it, it's about, it, it seems like it's a whole mile away, but, you know, I know it's not. But it, that wind be blowing your hair all over the place. Uh, uh. 
Yeah. So I'm sure it looks real good right now. Nah, it's okay. I was going to say something, but I was going to try to be nice. Well, I'm glad you didn't because I kidding. probably jumped over you too. You ain't tired. And I ain't running. That's, that's what my daddy used to say all the time. If somebody, you know, if somebody didn't move or whatever, he'd say, well, they ain't tired. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, man. Well, have you got any haul, y'all? I've got very little haul. <laughs> but, I tell you, I got, um, off of these stash group, Miss Tammy Cotton sent me. Oh, please. Oh, well, go ahead, because we, we, we're we not going to mention names. I got, um, Clara O'Hare. Uh, she had that one for sale, and it's got all the little accessories in there. So I thought, you know, since I did one stand up, what's stopping me from doing another one? So I got that one, and I got the boy one too, who is Henry O'Hare. And it came with all the stuff in there too. So, you know, if I was going to do them for Easter, I might want to get on that. Sounds like cute. Yeah. And then I got Queen of Thread from her. It's a Lindy Stitches pattern. Of course, it's got that big tomato on it, so I love it. And then I got Scattered Seed Samplers Night Watch 1626. That's pretty. I thought that was cute. And I got off the D-Stash group, I got some... Did I show this last time? Mm. I don't think I did. I don't remember. It's, uh, it don't matter. Show it again. XG Designs, and this is called Grandpa's Sleeve. I love XG Designs. But I'm telling you, if I don't look like a Grandpa's Sleeve, I don't know what does. It's been working on the vehicle. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to put on That's it. That's pretty. But I thought that was honk, pretty. Honk. Yeah, watch it now. <laughs> they might have much action this one. <laughs> um, and I got, uh, this will be my consult. Oh, boy. Now you're asking me, and I hadn't even picked mine. I'm asking the floss tube world. Oh, okay. Come on, floss tube you. world. So for Christie's birthday sale, I, what I, I looked up what the call for was. Um, it was laying right here. <laughs> Somewhere. I got it. It's R and R Reproductions 35 count classic homespun. Yeah. Um, All I was able to find when I looked up classic homespun was country homespun, I, I think. That might be what I saw, but it's darker. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I got a piece, when I ordered that grandpa's sleeve, I got a piece of XG Designs Marble Bunny, and it's got modeling in it. I thought that would match pretty good. And then I've got I this think so. piece of, you know, I asked Jeremy what he thought, so I'll tell you what you think, tell what he, what you think about that. But this is 36 count color and cotton white tea. That's pretty too. I like it too. This is his pick. I think those will pop mm -hmm. off of there. Yeah, me too. So this might be what I go with for my fabric for yours. So, but I, that marble bunny I got off the D-Stash group. And then, what else did I get? You know, some of it I've done, some of my haul I've done put in to rotation. Okay, well, you talk about me, but I, ha I have to stack mine up until you decide to make an appearance down here. And us, I told somebody the other day, I don't remember if it was Alan or Holly Ho, I said, if, if, if we don't do a floss tube this weekend, I'm just doing one by myself so I can get this Pick stuff up. put up. It drives me nuts. So that's my two picks for that. And then the last thing I got was... Um, in oh. I don't know what group this is. Cold. It's stash unloading or what, but somebody po posted a needle <gasps> minder of a Boston with oh. a pair of sunglasses and a bow on it, so I just had to have that. How cute. Isn't that cute? That is cute. I didn't even take it out of the packet yet. My new light, though, I like it. It's got a metal base on it, so mm -hmm. I can just stick them on there. Yeah. You know, next to me. So that's my haul. Oh, boy. 
How's that no buy going for you? Well, now this isn't all, I, I didn't buy all of this. Oh, you want to do these first? We can. So, we're going to go ahead and um, show what we're giving away for this week's videos. So, you, you, you name them. All right, this is love to one. What? Love to one, friendship love to many. Love to one. Is it long? It is love to one. Sorry. Okay. And it's from Primitive Traditions. And it's got a piece of fabric in here. It's 28 count Joblin Forget Me Not Blue. Primitive. Ooh. Primitive Traditions. Okay. That'd be number one. All right. Long Dog Samplers, The Black House. That's got lots, of, that's heavy stitching in it. Ooh, my eyes. Okay. All right. Ann Roberts. Are you giving numbers? That was number two. Okay. Ann Roberts by um, Hands to Work. Okay. That was number three. And then the next one is Quaker Virtues by Bygone Stitches. This is number four. I love me a Quaker. Okay. And this is Old Sampler by Owl Stitching House. And that's number five. Mm-hmm. All right. So whichever ones you are interested in, comment one, two, three, four, or five. And we'll draw for those on the next video. Ugh. Okay. I did order these. I saw these. You know, daggum Brenda and Jane again. I got these off of Amazon. And they're sticker books. I got that one, which is ephemera. And then I got that one. It's botanicals. It's flowers. And, and that is a year in stickers. And it's February or January through December and then it's like holiday stickers and these are like eight bucks. I'll link these below. Um, they're in our Amazon shop. I put them in there. So these are really good sticker books and they're like eight bucks and something. So I got those and I got a Sweet, sweet birthday card the other day. Oh, that's pretty. So pretty. And this was in there. It said she was antiquing. And as soon as she saw this, she thought about me. And I have been wanting one of these. And this is oh, from Cherry cute. Tiger Lily Design. It is a creamer. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Cute, cute, cute. I told Alan I just wanted to put some cream in it mm -hmm. act, and act like I was somebody. Ain't that precious? It Look at cute. her little face. Oh, I love it. Happy as a lark. I she? mean, thank you so much, Carrie. Let me get her right back up. Yeah, don't drop her on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Let's get her back in her little box. I believe she's going to have to have a name. Okay. Oh, do you want to talk about our, our heifer pulls for next month? Did you bring yours? For March? No, I don't think I did. Okay.
I wrote down what okay. they were. I, I just, I pulled mine, so I didn't know if you wanted to Did I? talk about them or no, just because you know, last night when we were talking about them, yeah, I thought one of them was to, start to sew a cross stitch bag, a project bag, and I was wrong because I read it as 13 instead of I3. Oh. So I got to finish Hands-On Designs Memorial Day, and then my H11 pull is start a sale of choice. So, is that gonna be my birthday? Sale? It probably will be, even though it's starting in, in February. <laughs> but that way, I can at least focus on it. So. Okay. My pulls. I actually started this one. Uh, the New Year's Eve. 12 by 12 and it's sisters sampler by abby rose designs that's pretty yeah it is pretty y'all know i love my sister that's what i've got done on it so so and i'm doing it on 32 count sampler gold by color and cotton and I'm using uh, all the called for, called for Gentle Arts, I think. Yeah, Gentle Arts and Weeks, and that it, it's calls for one DMC. So. I got it in my grandma's treasure bag. A little bag. Oh, I, I love, I, I love this fabric. Mm -hmm. And my next one, I actually started it at the retreat last, at the Huntsville retreat last year. Um, we had this do a little, I think it was Country Cottage Needleworks or a Little House Needleworks chart and i picked this one gather you pumpkins it was one that i had that i had not stitched so i started it last year in july but this was my other heifer pull so i'll be anxious to get it done and i'm doing it on 28 count stony creek spring meadow fabric and i'm using all the called for floss And I believe this bag is a Gamal's Treasure portfolio. I believe uh, Carolyn made this. I think me. you're right. Yeah, I think so. So, I'm anxious to start those two new ones. And speaking of Miss Carolyn, she sent me the sweetest card and it is a um, sampler, and then it, there's a chart on the back of it to stitch. And she made me a little house on the prairie Aww. bag. It's got a handle on it and the inside fabric says little house on the prairie well how cute i love it love it love it love it i got some fuzz on it and i don't know where my garbage can went but that was from miss carolyn from fab shabby rose she also sent me some she sent me a we're, we're going to put our orts in it for this year. And she said we would do something to put on the outside to hang on the Christmas tree. But it's it's plastic. So it's not glass. I thought that was pretty. I like the shape of that one too. It's different. Mm -hmm. And she sent me some Soap Escape Liberty Star. And she and I had talked on the phone one day about, and she loves these Cosmo floss. And I've never used I them. I've never used that either. So she sent me four skeins of it. 
So thank you so much, Miss Carolyn. If y'all have not checked out her Etsy shop, I think she is on vacation right now because one of her grandsons was in some kind of state competition and he I saw where he won yesterday. So that's exciting. But I think um she told me that her that her shop was on, on break right now. And I ordered from Little Thread Shop some classic color works. Just some threads that I needed. And I got a birthday card from Sweet Miss Carol Hardage. And I just saw on Facebook today where she's been sick. So I hope you're feeling better, Miss Carol. Thank you for thinking of me. I got my grace notes yesterday for um, this month. And it's called Cupid. It's cute. It's a purpley pink mm -hmm. color. Be a pretty Easter color. Yes, it would be. And it is a fat quarter of 32 count. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Okay, I alluded to this the other day when I when y'all rode to work with me. Did anybody get car sick? Um, uh, I got this package the other day from Michelle Hilsebeck. I hope I'm saying that right. And she sent me a project bag. Little house on the prairie. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, y'all. Pretty much all weekend, other than going to get my hair cut, that's what I've done, is watch Little House on the Prairie and Cross Stitch. I can't help it, I love it. And y'all, I'm just, I tell Alan all the time, and I don't know why, I, I, I think I want one so bad, because Lord knows I don't cook, but I have always wanted one. She sent me a pretty card. She also sent me a recipe that said every every week when her family, when Little House on the Prairie came on, she would make this, and this was their Little House on the Prairie casserole that they had every week so they could eat supper and watch Little House on the Prairie. And, um... Well, let me say what's yeah. in it. I gotta post that apple to apple recipe, too. Y'all, she made me a Little House on the Prairie apron! Look at that! Oh, that's cute. Y'all, I love that. Well, I'm Carolyn, like, you're going to have to get up there and cook something. Well, I cooked one day last week. Look at that. I'm telling you, she could have put a check in there for a million dollars. Well, now let's not get crazy. But I'm telling you, I was so tickled. I squealed. I squealed when I opened that from Carrie. I squealed when I opened that from Miss Carolyn. And I squealed when I opened this. Thank you so very, very much, Michelle. I cannot wait. Maybe I, maybe I don't really have to cook. Maybe I can just put it on when I'm eating. Just take a picture with it. Yeah, yeah. Thank it's you so much. Special. I love it, love it, love it. I did order a project bag. I know y'all are shocked. But I did. From Vintage Stitchers. Y'all know I love me some paisley print. I feel how quilted that is. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah. But she has an Etsy shop, and it's Vintage Stitchers. I'll be sure and link her below. I'm assuming it's a her. I was so excited about my heifer pool yesterday. I was going to get to sew me a project bag. I bet you was. Mm -hmm, I was. Uh, this is from Holly Ho. She sent me a little bag of happy. She sent me a box to put my Vicki Clayton silks in for my birthday stitch. 
Oh, this is mine. Let's fix this like that's my handwriting. Just in the wrong bag. And she got me some stickers for my book. And she had stitched this, these two, and she sent me the charts to stitch. And she got me these at um, the retreat at Fort Walton that she went to. Blue Quaker, a reproduction sampler by Morning Glory Needleworks, and always kiss me good night. I actually have a, a thing above my bed that says that, but I would love to have it to where I can stitch it, and now I can. And she got me a bag that goes on my planner that'll hold some pens, and it actually looks like cross-stitched hearts. It's just a hodge, a hodge podge of stuff, and I love stuff. I, I love gifts like that. And look, she sent me a little sticker. Look at that little, I think, I think that's cute. sweet as pie. And y'all, to know Holly is to love her. She is a big kid at heart. And this is so her, but yet it's so me because I love an ink pen. Love an ink pen. And then she sent me that. So, oh, and she also sent me some DMC that I needed. And she sent me some thread works and then a DMC. Aren't those pretty colors? That thread works floss is that's the one I used on that. Yes. Um, that I bought. Yes. Yes. Just the variegation and I'm so pretty. Yeah, it is so pretty. So I actually think that this is supposed to be for the one I'm working on now, the Isabella King. I think this color is, so I might need to lay that right there. I've had this for a few weeks because I kept thinking, you need to, you're going to have to put that stuff up. You're going to have to put that stuff up. And I'm telling you. Okay. Now for it. She also, this was in my birthday, well, not really, but she said it was in my birthday bag. She found these at Dollar General after Christmas, and they were 25 cents a piece. They're, they're Christmas. Yeah, you can put a little finished piece right in there. Decorations, but they, they were on the clearance rack, and she got them for a quarter a piece. So, hey, thank you, Holly Ho. She got them while she was still at the beach. And her two dogs, Ozzy and Fendi, got me this project bag for my birthday. It was in a bag all by itself. And it is by Stitch Vana. Is that dogs? Yeah, the it's Easter dogs. Bunnies? Oh, how cute. Dressed up as Easter bunnies. And then the inside fabric is little bones. Oh. Ain't that precious? But that's from Ozzy and Fendi. And this is oh they they also this was also in my bag from mm -hmm. them. A little notebook and a set of pens. And this is from Holly. She got me another set of pens and some scissor tips. It goes over the end tips of your scissors. They're little cows. Little pink one and a little gray one. And a little tiny screwdriver from a Hardwick Manor hoop. If I want to take it to a retreat or something. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, she just filled my birthday bag up. She 
She gave me this in my birthday bag. Floss and a little bling needle minder. <laughs> she gave me these because they're my favorite if you haven't ate butter popcorn jelly beans you're missing out they're my favorite butter popcorn mm -hmm. what did i say it's buttered beans no you said butter okay popcorn. she gave them to me and she bought me that fate garden by rosewood manor I've got that big I want chart to say for now. Those color, those charts, those colors are the ones that go with that chart. And she made me this. Is it Happy Birthday by Blackbird? Mm -hmm, is I that think the so. one it is? It says Happy Birthday, dear friend. Mm -hmm. And she put her initials here. And my initials over here. I love that. Do you know this is the first stitched piece I've ever gotten? Really? Mm hmm I got my coloring cotton. I think you might have showed yours. No, you hadn't showed these. You showed the spices last yeah, time. Yeah, I got those, but I don't, I don't even know if I've even this looked at them This is almond... Yeah, I did, because it's a bunch of brownish. Almond, portabella, marsh, harvest wheat, and Jamestown. I got those in. And I got some stickers and a needle minder. And this is from Victoria Gable Stitching Button. And this says, keep your bullshit out of my pasture. Man, if I could get a sign for my yard for that. I don't know who else we could send that to. Yeah. And this says, peace, love, and well shit. Did y'all ever watch, what was his name? He died not long ago. He was on um, Will and Grace. Leslie Jordan. Yes. Yeah. And it's got a picture of him on it. I love it? that show. Me too. And I just got some stickers from her for my cup. And and I got a Valentine card from Ebert. That's back before we run a wheel off, wasn't yeah. it? It has two pretty pinks in it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ebert. Mm -hmm. And I got a card from, let me see. Uh, Kathy Jett, and she sent some postage money. She won one of our giveaways, so thank you so much, Kathy. That little that cow. Look at it. And I got my floss from Fat Quarter Shop, my Classic Color Works, and it's Crushed Pineapple, Cupid, Dandelion Stem, Deep Blue Sea, Deep Fennel, and Desert Mesquite. And then I had a sweet, sweet, sweet friend send me. She was finished stitching it. And my sweet cousin Shelly sent me Violet Blue by Blackbird Designs. So I can't wait to start it. Thank you, Shelly.
and I mentioned on one of my impromptu videos, I think while I was driving down the road, that Team Egner, that Tina with Team Egner was doing floss drops for my birthday. Y'all, she is the sweetest and everything always comes so pretty packaged. And um, these are the floss, these are my birthday floss drops from her. She even sent me a little needle. I think she wanted me to put Alan's eye out with it. Have you ever used the Peacemaker needle? I have not. Well, I'm gonna give you one. Okay. Cause I had bought some. Brenda and Laura said that she, that she that's her favorite is Peacemaker. Yeah. Well, and you know, I, you're gonna have a hard time converting me from pony. I know. But this one, I ain't, I ain't fully converted yet, but I do like them. Yeah. Look at that. It says made with love on the little charm. And she also sent me her little house on the prairie bag that she used when she stitched Prairie Life Sampler. So thank you, Tina. And it's made by Mama Joan is who it said, but she said, I don't need it anymore. I've already stitched it. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If y'all haven't, go over and give her shop a look. She got some pretty, pretty stuff. And then when our friends from uh, Kentucky, Linda and Lee came down, they gave us magnets and I'm gonna take this magnet off and put a needle minder magnet on it so I can put it on my project and it says somebody in Kentucky loves me. They gave us this and they gave us a bag of turtle candy that's made in Kentucky and needless to say I got one. Mine's gone too. And Alan ate the rest but of it. But I ate the whole bag myself over a course of about four or five days. Well Jeremy might have got one or two. And they gave us and she asked, she texted me the other day and asked me had I used it. And I told her I was going to use it that night. I didn't mean to tell her a lie. But I am going to use it today and I'm fixing to tell y'all why. They gave us a little tea tiny flat iron. And you use it to get, if you have floss that's been on bobbins, which... I do. Look at that. Those have been on bobbins and I'm going to flat iron them. And if I can get this done before the video, we, I get through editing and uploading the video, I'll put a picture at the end of what y'all see, what they look like now and what they're going to look like. She showed us a picture mm -hmm. the other night when we ate supper and it was I'd have never phenomenal. Thought. I never thought to do that. Me but. either, but it's a little bitty tiny. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not very wide and it would be perfect to stick in a bag. Like if you went to a retreat, if you needed to just get touch, one, that, hair yeah, touch that hair up, but thank y'all so much. I'm so excited to use it. I'm not even going to stick it back in the box. I'm going to lay it right there. So when I get through, I can iron. I may get Alan down here and get him to fl iron floss while yeah. I do something else. Put him to work. And then, honey, I'm just still over here digging in this bag like it ain't nobody's business. Or this box, or whatever it's called. I thought I had something else, but I, can't, I don't see it. I, here it is, here it is, here it is. Sweet. Oh, these also came from Holly Ho. These were also in my birthday bag. Um, Stephanie, the New England stitcher, sent Callie and I a floss winder. And on that side, it says, don't be a heifer. And on that side, it says, floss boss and cousins. Okay. And she sent us a charm that says, don't be a heifer. 
Those are cute. Aren't they cute? Yours is over here. I've tried tried to lay your stuff. Your your goodies over there. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I know. Ain't they cute? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And um, Joyce Taunton sent you and I. Um, she got a mystery gift when we did one of the mystery charts and she said thanks so much for the lovely mystery gift i must admit i didn't really care for it when i first looked at it <laughs> then i looked at the pattern and fell in love with it Aww. so it's perfect she says she loves watching us she sent us some 2024 charms and clasps so if you won't get some good, of them because i don't have any i, I don't or... either i have a ton if anybody needs any 2023 i've got a bunch of them and i'll be happy to send them to you because I'm, I'm not going to use them but if uh if anybody needs some just send me a message or just send me an email and i'll be more than happy to share them and then tammy was uh Walter, Tammy Totten, did a de-stash for Miss Glenda. She was a lady, she sat at our table at the Huntsville Retreat back in July, and she passed away. And Tammy um, de-stashed her cross-stitch stuff for her husband. So I bought this from uh, Tammy for Miss Glenda's family. And I got Teresa Kogut's Wilbert. Gosh, I love that. Oh, I just love Don't it. That love makes it. you think of Charlotte's Way of. Oh, don't it though? And I got all the called for floss for his eye is on the sparrow. And I also got a yard, two yards of 28 count cashel linen 26 flosses and two yards of 28 count casual linen and the chart to do his eyes on the sparrow and i got this the little tilly goat look at that baby Ooh, oh i love it and i got i love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck And I got Deck the Halls by Blackbird Designs. And I got In Friendship's Way. I think Holly gave this to me. I think Holly gave that to me, the needle minder. Oh, and I got this bag from Miss Glenda's stash. That's pretty. That's beautiful. It, I don't know if it says who made it. It just says made with love. It doesn't say who made it, but that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I hate that I seen you had to pick that up before I did. That's, you know, when you, when you don't when answer. When you snooze, you lose. Yeah, huh? when, when you don't answer messages and you, you don't know what's going on, you just miss right on out. And this is uh, the birthday card Holly gave me. And to know her, this is 100% her. She loves bright colors. Uh -huh. And she, she'll do something that you would think you had to be done on. She did a leopard for her daughter for Christmas. And she done it on hot pink fabric. And it was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, hot pink fabric. I mean, look at the back of this envelope. Yeah. <laughs> to know where it's to love her. And this is another little Valentine goodie goodie that I got from sweet cousin Shelly. You have one somewhere. You just put all your stuff. Listen, I was trying not to ramble through all my stuff today. And she sent some Team Egner Valentine floss drops and some candy, which is long gone. I have a granddaughter that loves Dove chocolates. 
and she got those, which I didn't need them anyway, and she sent some Belle Soir floss. I've never used it. She sent cotton candy and tumbleweed. Thank you so much, Shelly. Uh, she's doing a Zoom this afternoon. At yeah, I saw that. 4.30, 3.30? 4.30, I think. Okay. I'm hoping I can get Elbert gone so I can get on there. And... Elbert's going to get her little nappy nap. Yeah, that's yours sure. from Shelly. Okay. I think that's it. And then this is yours from Stephanie and that over there. Okay. Uh, I just didn't want... I've been trying to leave what's for you over here on this side, so, you know. Sorry, I didn't have to pull your tail for yeah. taking my spoon. Yeah. Now, if there's not any candy in that, I guess you can blame Laurel I Hammock. Well, she can have it. <laughs> Did you get some of those? Yeah. Okay. And I got one more thing to show. Everybody knows that I made a boo-boo on my, um, now I can't even remember what it was called. Merry Christmas by Threadwork, Thread, Threadwork Thread Primitives. Primitives. And my sweet friend Greta, I sent, she told me, she kept saying, send it to me, send it to me, send it to me. So I sent it to her. I sent her the fabric and the chenille and she sent it back. Look at old Greta go. Greta is putting it out there, sister. She, she picks that right up. She gonna get her some more stuff this week because <laughs> I'm sending it to her. Thank you so much, Greta. Oh, it looks so good. I just want to put it out even though it's February. I'd, I'd set it right up on that table. Looks so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Greta. She wouldn't let me pay her. She said she was practicing, but I bet you I'll pay her the next time. Oh, Thank you. Ain't she sweet? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got another. I, I got a birthday present from Ilbert and I hadn't opened it. Can I, I open like it? it? Yeah. Okay. Well, Ilbert, the mm -hmm. big birthday present. I've been all up in the fields this week. I mean, you have. Elbert, you did not. Yes, you did. <clears throat> you know I gotta save all that paper because I tear it and put it in my uh, book. Well, I had put it in the car this morning and I stuffed it in there when I stopped at Dollar General a while ago. Oh, you even stuffed it for me. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like them tomatoes, now I'm taking them back. Oh, look. I Thank they you just so cute. much. I love that. I told Dick, you might have to get you a few more to go up here. I didn't know yeah. how far to get it. Back. Oh, I love it. And I, if it was the same ones, I, I'm going to scream. It's not. Good. It's absolutely not. She got me sticker books, the same kind, but this one is Bibliophilia mm -hmm. and Curiosities. Thank you so much. When I seen them books you had a while ago, and it was just different kinds of stuff. Oh. Pulled Thank them out you. a while ago. I thought it, it's the same one. I, I knew one. you kept looking Crack at them awful brick. hard. <laughs> I love that. Now I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it. I didn't know where you was gonna put it. That was your problem. I may have to put it, I may have to get Alan to push the treadmill down and get me a little table to go on the other side over there. You been using that for treadmill? Yeah. <laughs> I was telling somebody. I mean, somebody, not my cream of chicken soup. Does that count? I, I was telling some. what is this? That's Pam's Christmas gift. Okay. <laughs> I, um, 
I was telling somebody about you ordering a treadmill and cream of chicken soup and one night at work this week. Yeah. A whole case of cream and chicken soup. The only thing I've used is the cream and chicken soup. Well, we about done it. One hour and 18, 18 minutes. minutes. We're getting back where we're supposed to be now, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> but we appreciate you all so much. Yeah. So, so much. And for the ones that worry about me driving and doing a video, it is completely hands-free. And it is like I'm driving and the camera's right here. I... I never have to take my eyes off the road. So, we're safe. And, you know, we live in Bankston. Y'all can pretty much tell by the video. You know what? There's not any traffic. Not much at all. So. Except state troopers, you know, on 13. When it... Yeah. Yeah. But we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Hope y'all have a great two weeks. And... I've got a little trip this coming up weekend. I'll tell y'all about it when I get back. And I may do a little impromptu pop-up video while I'm gone. But um, I am going to insert a picture. Whitney, we went by her house last night. She gave me my birthday present. Oh, you did already she get, know. Yeah. Uh, I didn't bring it down here. It's up there on the table. But she had sent me a picture of it after she gave it to me last night. But she made me a bird nest. Her and Cable walked the woods yesterday and gathered the stuff. She made me a bird nest. And she whittled me three baby birds. One for Lorelai, one for Whitley, and one for Cable. And they're in that bird nest. And I absolutely love it. I told her you would. Yeah. I, I, I will insert a picture of it at the end of the video so y'all can see it. And I did end up, I, I did take a picture this morning of, um, I was taking down my Valentine's things and I did have a pillow of a Valentine that I had stitched. So, um, I took a picture of it and I'll insert it too. So... But thank you, everybody, that has sent me gifts for my birthday, that has told me happy birthday, and come Tuesday, I'll be 51. 51. 51. Thank you for those of y'all who prayed for my mama and sent yes. well wishes. I sure do appreciate it. It's meant a lot to me to know that people were thinking about me. And when you sometimes are covered up, you don't know when she ends up. It's nice to know that people are praying for you and and going to the throne on your behalf and, and my mama's behalf. So that meant a lot to me. And y'all please pray for Holly's grandson, Graham. Please. But we will see y'all in two weeks. Hope you have a good one. Get started on those March heifer pulls. That'll be the Come Tuesday, the I may, um, Greta mentioned it this morning in our group text, I may, I doubt we'll do anything on my birthday because it's a Tuesday and, you know, Alan will be 60 in August and I'll be 51 Tuesday and, you know. We old. We old. <laughs> I might to try to do a Zoom Tuesday night as a jump start or a hoorah for my birthday sale. So, but I will let y'all know in our Floss Boss and Cousins group. And am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Is that mine? No, it is not. Well, you know, you said you liked some stuff. Well, that there, so. that wasn't one of it. You don't that come out of my twelve days of stitch must Ooh, tiger nice lily box. Oh, I remember you showing yeah. that now. Um, I just feel like I'm forgetting something. Well, if I did, we'll hit it up next time. Y'all be good. We love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.